cancer is really nothing more than our own cells dividing faster than they would naturally die off. And that will end up leading to rapid decline in health and ultimately death. With chemotherapy, the idea is to treat those rapidly dividing cells with toxic agents. But you've heard of side effects such as vomiting or hair loss. The more adverse effects, more serious effects are sort of loss of immune functions. And you can also have organ specific toxicities. And so you can have damage to the liver or in worst case scenario to the heart. So my lab has been working for a few years now on formulating uh, little nanoparticles. So these particles are are about 1 20th the size of red blood cells. So we're trying to package the chemotherapeutic agents, these toxic drugs, and carry them specifically to the tumor and release the drug only in the tumor so that you do not have exposure of the healthy uh, cells and tissue to these toxic drugs. That tumors, well, if they're growing too fast, they end up with gaps and spaces and openings in between the cells. And so if you make particles small enough, then they can get through these small gaps and openings between the cells and the vessels, and then they will accumulate actually in the, in the solid tumor. We're making our particles using uh, phospholipids, which is a major component of cell membranes. So your skin, your heart, your red blood cells, Phospholipids are a major key component of the cells that make up those organs. And we're picking specific phospholipids that have a melting temperature within a range that we can realistically heat the tumor without damaging any surrounding tissue. And so we use a focused ultrasound transducer, much like a magnifying glass, we can focus acoustic energy rather than light. And so we can change the temperature of the tumor relative to the surrounding tissue by four or five degrees, and it triggers drug release. So you won't have as much hair loss, you won't have as much nausea or vomiting, and we won't suppress the immune system. We can engineer materials and particles on such a small scale, and so it opens a whole new pathway for engineering, for science, and for medicine as a whole.